Welcome to another episode of my still unnamed video blog. And today's episode, we have guest star Chad Forrest, and we're going to be going through postcards. But, as I promised, I would bust out some sunglasses every now and then. And these are my sunglasses of today. You're jealous, I know it. Sarua, I when unpacking boxes after we moved, found a box full of about 250-300 postcards. I forgot I ever even collected postcards. How old were you when you did that? I was before middle school. Yeah, so I decided to address them all. So, these are all already addressed. So if you want your own postcards that are randomly mailed to you, I will be getting more. So. Like, private message me on Facebook your uh, address. Don't put it on the YouTube comment. Don't put it on my wall. Like, you know, don't be dumb. So, I can't read with these sunglasses on. That sucks. Alright, Chad, go ahead. <laughs> Take this one just because it says December 21st, 2012. Beware. Or prepare. <laughs> I got one. I saw the front. I don't know if you can tell very well what it is, but it says, um, what does it say? Busiest place in the Ozarks. And I'm looking at it going, well, there's a bunch of girls, and there's one guy, and there's a big building, and there's a little building. Like, could that be the outhouse that they're referring to? <laughs> or could that be possibly the whorehouse? So on the back I wrote, outhouse or brothel house? Because I didn't want to write a whorehouse on a postcard. <laughs> this one says, I have no idea how I acquired such a lame postcard. And it's Mentos. Mentos better. Mentos freshness. On this postcard right here, uh, it is a, a Rothschild Showfield, Weston, Wisconsin. Um, and it's a picture of their landmass town. And I wrote on the back of it, because I have lots of these postcards that will be getting sent out. I wonder if my mailman reads all these ridiculous postcards. <laughs> this one is a really old timey looking syrup ad for cough, colds, and constipation. Oh, sorry, consumption. Uh, it says, <laughs> when you sneeze, all your body functions stop, even your heart, so try not to sneeze. <laughs> Classic. I got a card of, um, well, I looked at the front, and it's just some long building. Uh, the back says it's the Century, Century World Headquarters in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. And I wrote on it, because I have no idea what this place was, <laughs> so I wrote, do you have any idea how many people have touched this card? Any idea how many germs you're catching? Any idea? <laughs> this one's like a really idyllic scene of like a dilapidated old house with a lot of purple. So I put the d to our friend Emily. She'll love this. The zombie apocalypse will begin in 24 hours. This is your head start. Say your goodbyes and head for the hills. You have 23 hours and 59 minutes. XO. XO. I had a card of uh, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Woohoo. And I tried to make a joke. And I'm not sure if the person getting this card or if anybody watching this video is going to get the joke. But here it is. What the fuck is Stevens Point? He never tells me. He just talks on and on. And none of his stories ever have a point. So what the fuck is Stevens Point? So. This joke is a play on words, and I, I hope you understood it, and it wasn't totally lame. I'm trying to be funny. So this one says, Look, look, your mom's on a postcard. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what does it look like? <laughs> That's funny. Big ol' hog. Ooh! This one says, Fishing Ozark Style. And I have written nothing on this card. So if you have a phone funny to write on this card, comment it, post it somewhere. 
and I will put it on this card. This Aloha from Hawaii says, watch Lilo and Stitch this week. At some point. Do you think mildly uh, racist cards are okay? Yeah, if it's like ironic. Alright, so... This is based off stereotypes, and I hope none of my ethnic friends take offense to this, because I would make this joke to your face, and most of you would laugh. It says Ozark Hillbilly Family, and it's got one little house with all them people. And I wrote on the back, dot, 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 or a Green Bay Asian family. Just because they have a lot of kids. A lot. Typically. I don't think that's right. Mm -hmm. What? This one's a mummy, Egyptian. And it says, this is a good fortune mummy. Keep it with you at all times. <laughs> is an Egyptian mummy? What other kind of mummies are there? Lots of other types. <laughs> Lots mummies of that created that were created naturally by people being buried in sand. Like if they die in the desert somewhere in Africa, they're But they weren't mummified, they're just kinda they're natural. They're sandified. Fied. It's like doing the same thing as wrapping them in the silks and draining all their fluids. The, the sand soaks up all their moisture, so they're mummified. So mummifying means it's taking away the moisture from dead bodies. I hope you all caught that definition, because that was quiet. So you might have to look that up on Wikipedia, but I'm pretty sure this man is telling the truth. Hmm. I watched the last show with the mummy. So I, watched the mummy. I had sex with the mummy. Mm. No comment. Ah, here's the card. It says, Hot Springs Lakin. And it's got some pretty pictures. And I read the back. I read the description. I, uh, never read the middle part of it. But I wrote, I have no idea what state this place is in. Because I didn't. Not very funny. Sorry. Waste of a postcard. Where's Tiffany and Quinn? They are downstairs. Asleep? I think so. No, Quinn's somewhere. Yeah. I don't really know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Postcard of Abraham Lincoln. And in honor of the new movie, I have the original Vampire Slayer. Buffy was so last year. <laughs> this hieroglyphics chart. It suggests watch an Egyptian themed movie tonight. It is your destiny. So that's taking it to Egyptian theme <laughs> of our show. Fun. I think we're running out of funny ones here. <laughs> Are you going to read it? Yeah, I'm just to This one's to Tom. It's of Lincoln's tomb. Oh, great. Now Tom's going to know what he's getting. Now we got to readdress it. It's... There's a lot of Toms out there. A lot of Toms watching my show. Does he subscribe? I don't know what he prescribes to. <laughs> anyway, this one says, Don't feel too bad. You'll be in the same position someday. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. This postcard is a uh, picture of a lady. It's an old school one, and there's little writing in the rocks and stuff, which I will read to you. Uh, it says, How's uh, vegetable silicon hair renewer improves the growth and restores... Uh, the youthful color and beauty in hair. And since I didn't notice that till I stared at it, I wrote on the back, this postcard is an advertisement for shampoo. This is of Whitewater Falls in North Carolina. Never been, but heard it's fun. Um, this, you make me wet like a waterfall. This card uh, is some creepy little midget child uh, with a eyepiece thing and reading a book or something with like a can of tobacco on the bottom of it or something. 
I don't, I don't get it. Some vintage shit. And everyone in the back, record yourself trying to lick your elbow and put it on YouTube. That way people can laugh at you. Alright, one more card each and then we will end this episode. What's this? Bright lights, big city. Give me wood. Hollywood. Alright, um... I don't know if this one's really funny or not, or a good one to end on. We should probably plan that out for next one. Uh, this one's got a bunch of horses on it. And what the fuck do you write? Stallions. Okay. It has a bunch of stallions on it. And what do you write in a card full of stallions? I didn't know. So I wrote, one of these horses has rabies. It's my coven. More than you think. So, some of you may be receiving uh, these postcards in the mail. If you already prescribed you to... You lucky few. <laughs> if you already prescribed to my uh, postcard mailing list, and you're viewing my show, then you'll get them. So, uh, subscribe here on YouTube, like me on Facebook, share me on Facebook, tell your friends, and post some comments. Tell me what sucked. Tell me what didn't. Tell me your first name. Tell me what you're wearing.